Bonjour, everyone. I am your German snob. I welcome you all back to another episode of Let's Play Cheese String. And here we are again, playing Cheese String as previously established. And if I remember correctly, which, well, you know, is not something you should take for granted by any means, I think we have to go down there, perhaps. I don't know, it, it is a bit ambiguous, I, I, will, I will say as much. But that seems like a rational assumption to make, all things considered. Wait, okay. Back to safe scamming, the one thing I'm good at. And down. I thought this would happen. So, in retrospect, maybe I should not have done it. But then on the other hand, I don't really know where I should have jumped down so that I don't hurt myself, so... Uh, you know, what grounds do I have to complain? Now, where are we? We are here. The question is, do we want to be here? Personally, I say that I kinda doubt it because it's a dead end. So maybe that is not the way to go. In fact. What is then? Maybe that's what we should ask ourselves. Maybe further down, but I won't take that way until I have confirmed that there isn't anything else somewhere else. Nope, another dead end. Okay, I very much doubt that I can open that door. Thought so. So let's take that direction. As I said, I do kind of think that we have to go down there with, you know, health kits being down there and all. But, on the other hand, I don't want to miss a thing. Okay. Yeah, no, no li literally nothing up there. So, let's see how I can get down there safely. Will I take fall damage if I throw myself... Well, probably not enough to kill me. No, not by any means. And there are health kits there, so there. Now the question is, from here on, where do I go? Of course, you might argue that there was never another question, but... That is not important right now. Okay. Assumption. Red water hurts. Yes! Yes it does! Okay. Okay. I feel a lot smarter knowing that. And then my game crashed, but that's not important right now. So it would seem like I want to go down there, right? Yeah, totally. So that's what I'm gonna do. Avoid the red water. And... go over here. Which would seem to turn out to be another dead end. Or maybe not, because I have not yet seen that way. Okay, okay, try again to avoid the red water. As best as I can. And if this is a dead end as well, I'm going to be angry. Well, maybe not a dead end per se, but it leads to more red water. However... I think I might be able to... 
get out of here safely. Have I been here before? I kinda doubt it. But in fact, I might have been. Yeah, right, because... Yeah, right, because that is that. Sure. And once again, that's where I came from. I... I am somewhat lost. But only somewhat. I mean, this area is not that big. But is it already worth making a cut here? Maybe it is. Maybe it... It actually is. Huh. But really, you wouldn't think that this could be that hard. Would you? Yeah, but nonetheless, I, I, I'm going to make a cut here. See you in a minute. I think I got it. And as always, the right way is the most obscure, out-of-the-way one. But if I'm correct, you have to go along here. In this little, tiny piece of concrete sticking out from the wall. And then you get here. And here you can jump over there. Oh, I almost didn't make the jump, and then I would have felt really stupid, but I, I did make it. So, no reason to be frustrated about that. And then I can enter that pipe, as you have just seen, to move onward towards the next dark corridor, because it's what you do in this game. You move from one dark corridor into another one. Pretty much. Yep, looks like a sewer to me. I mean, sewers are obviously always the best part about any video game they're in. No doubt about that. No. Okay. That was a loading screen, in case you couldn't tell. Huh. Okay. More dark corridors? Why not? But now there are particularly narrow corridors, so... That's different. And it looks like we are just about to see the daylight again. Or you know what passes for daylight in this grim, dystopian wasteland of the future. And you probably think you have to go over there, but that's not true. You actually have to go over there. I think. Well, it looks at least considerably more likely that you have to go over there, so... <laughs> okay. First person platforming! Also the best part about any game it's in. Is this thing going to fall down? Is it a bad idea to save here? Well, anyway, I'm gonna do it. And it wasn't such a bad idea now, was it? Okay, I haven't died so far. Sorry about being so paranoid with my saving. But... You just know that this would eventually happen. And at least for the sake of this let's play, I would not waste too much time on doing things more often than I need to absolutely do them. Where do I jump from here? Not all the way back, I know that much. Right, right. Right. Or maybe wrong, but... Uh, let, let, let me think. Yeah, because like that I'm only going to fall down here. But why would I go back into the direction I came from, which may, might not in fact be possible? Okay, I think we can rule that out. Fine. And from here to here. Uh-huh. And from here up here. And from here over there. 
Doesn't look too bad. I also reckon that this would be very easier if it wasn't for that absolutely unnecessary fog down there. Or rather down here. But hey, who am I to complain? Well, that's just dandy. And on I go. I'm quite happy once this part is over because I don't enjoy first person platforming. <sighs> Who wants to bet that I'm going to die once more right here at the very end of this section? Actually, I might not, because if I fall down here, I fall onto ground. And can then go through here. That is a gas tank. So... Let's take a step back. And let's see if that gas tank does what gas tanks do in video games. It doesn't. Really? Oh, come on. That has got to be against some unwritten rule of video game design. If there is a gas tank, it's better gonna explode if you shoot it. See? Not even a game like Cheese String can escape the law for too long. I am happy that this happened. I am not that happy that I got burned here. But that's fine. I... I'm not bitter about it or anything. And now you don't actually have to go further into that direction with that Asian sign there. I couldn't even tell you if it's Japanese or Chinese or just complete gibberish that is meant to look Asian. But I doubt that it's important. I'm going to take an assumption that it's Japanese because this whole game carries a certain air of uh, Japanophilia. What was being said in a city called Tokyo twice and all, I'm still not over that name because, my god, it's dumb. But, that is fine. Creepy noises, dark corridors. No limits of any kind. I wish I could say the same about this game's level design, but I seriously can't. So yeah, how about that? Creepy noises and dark corridors. That door actually opens, I didn't actually... And here we are. More sewers. And more water that hurts. Maybe I should have seen that coming. But then... Maybe I... What was that? That's, did something just... Did something just blow? Like, except from this game. Uh, I don't know. This door is boarded up, but is it boarded up in a way that I can destroy the boards and then go through it? It would seem that way. Well, they're destroying the board parts anyway. They're going through it, I don't know. But here are health kits. So, that's pretty grand. This one opens up. This one does not. So the choice is either go along there or go through the door. Along here there is... Pretty much nothing. Dead end. Okay. That makes the choice considerably easier. Because at the end of the day, this game is hella linear. Yes, it is. More platforming. 
You betcha. Unless I have to go down there, but seeing how staying up there seems to be more difficult, I reckon that that's what, what I have to do. Yes, yes it is, or rather it is what I should have done. Is this going to be an issue? Is this going to be troublesome? Uh, maybe it will. Because that pipe right there is like totally in the way. Question, can I get over there? Huh, no. Or rather, if I am over there, could I... Would I be smarter to... Can I get past there? That is the most relevant question right now. Yes, I can! So, uh, this... This is, uh, this is not actually the exit, no. It, it sure looked like it would be. But, but, but it isn't, no. Okay. Fine. Then... Is this? No, it's just where I can find another health kit. Okay then, be that way. Be that way. Because... I suspect that the exit is... In all honesty, with... That... Downward thing over there. Isn't it? Can I make the jump? <sighs> nope, I can't. Know what? I'm gonna make a cut here. See ya in a minute. I may not have been right in assuming that the exit is up there after all. It might actually be down here. So maybe I should just take the damage and... See if I can get through here. No, I can't. Seriously? You, uh... You serious? Nine? Nine. Okay. Well then, forget about everything I said. But before I reload, I want to know if it is down here in some way at all. Okay, it's not, so I'm gonna make another cut. Well, bagger me, it is down there after all. There was a board I could destroy. Unlike the two other boards that I couldn't destroy. So let's try this again, but this time more successfully. Take the damage because... Oh, so what? It's not like it's a lot. And then get on this board. And this board will take me... to relative safety. As long as I stay on it. And try not to fall off. Because it's just floating into the direction I needed to float. Leaving behind the room I just came from. Taking a dark grey corridor into safety. Just floating along. It's like a pleasant cruise, except for uh, except for the interesting scenery and the comfortable boats and uh, and all that unnecessary stuff. Well, no, I basically I get what this is. This is a valve elevator section, except without all the interesting things to look at, except maybe these skeletons up there, which are. Well, I wouldn't call them interesting, but you need to apply a certain a certain standard here. Like, it might not be interesting, but compared to bland dark corridors, they are pretty rad. <laughs> okay, but it's over already. Really, I shouldn't give this, main, this, this game uh, that much shit, because really it's not that bad. I, 
I shouldn't complain about it quite as much. But... You know, I do kind of wonder, do I have to go left or right? Yeah, that is something I do wonder. So... There is that. Let's go and assume I have to go to the right. Taking the damage, don't even give a shit. I reckon I can avoid most of it anyway. Noise. <gasps> is this how I meant to do it? I don't know. In fact, I guess that it isn't. Yes. Yes. You know. What? Is this going to be? No, it wasn't. I'm pretty sure someone is talking backwards there. But sadly, I don't speak backwards. So whoever is speaking there can just go back to... to backwards then, if he wants to speak his... Hey. Hey. If he wants to speak his weird chibberish language, is what I'm saying. Yep, I made it f through there. I pretty much just unapologetically cheesed that part. But, hey, if it works, it works. Anything up here, like perhaps a health kit, I could kind of use one. No. No, nothing of that sort. Pretty sure I'm wasting my time. And at the end of that thing there probably was one, and I just didn't find it. And there is a moral in that story, viewers. And you have to figure it out for yourself, because, really, it wouldn't be fun if I pointed it out. In case you're wondering if right now I'm just speaking random bullshit, yes I am. But I would still really like to have a health kit. If that isn't too much to ask for. Looks like I have to go down there. Well, okay. If you really want me to. Then I will go down yet another dark grey corridor. Uh, yeah. More deadly red water. Uh, you know what? I reckon this might be a pretty good point to stop recording for today. Maybe. Possibly. So yeah, I am your German snob. This is Let's Play Cheese String and I hope I can see you again next time. So until then... Um... Ciao.